Hello. Something amazing is about to happen. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm so tired. <laughs> But the work must be done. No. So you guys, um, I just wanted to make this video to just encourage someone out there. I feel like um, we're, we live in a day and age where um, most of us believe that for you to make a living, you need to like suit up and work in an office for somebody else. I know jobs are hectic to find right now and you see a lot of people like complaining and about how long they've been like um, jobless and how long they've been looking for work. And to be honest, I feel like there's so many opportunities out there to explore. I feel like we're, we are all creative and talented in our own way that like if we look close enough, we will find something to like make money for us. And before you judge and think, oh well, you're only saying that because maybe you have a job, it's easier said than done, I get it. I have been jobless before and I just believe that you don't need to wait for like an office job for you to like sustain yourself. I feel like the problem is most people when they think talent or when they think or oh, you know creative, we think so far out, you know, we start looking at what the most successful people have done we start thinking about oh my gosh i'll never be that intelligent i'll never have those resources it's important for you to look around you find something you're passionate about find a hobby that you like and you can like monetize a hobby i don't know where this thought came from but for me i feel like maybe in, in the way we've been brought up um, some of our cultures or the society as a whole i feel like we've just been um pretty much brainwashed to think that okay you know you go to school you graduate and you apply for a job and you get it and if you don't get the job then you suck and you lose it when you feel like oh my gosh i did all the things that society said i should do i went to school graduated but now i can't find a job so if i don't find a job that means i'm pretty much like worthless or i'm not as smart i'm not as successful as the next person we need to change our thought process I am so proud of like you know the people around me who are just like starting their own businesses you know pursuing their own house if there are any young people out there who just graduated or looking forward to a graduation and you're so anxious because you really worried that you might not find a job because you can see it happening all the time there's people who stay years jobless after graduating you don't need to wait on a job for you to do something about your life you know um, find something that you're very good at or like find a problem to solve that's how a business starts you find a problem that's there and then you figure out a solution um, this is a very important subject for me because I've been a person who always tries to find ways of like um, being valuable you cannot just um, depend on one source of income in this day and age bills have to be paid and the bills keep piling up you have to be somebody who uses your hobbies your passions and monetize them because then otherwise what's the point maybe there's some of you who are saying you know what Bussy, I hear you but I just feel like I'm not creative I have been there before I, I understand sometimes you feel like you're not creative sometimes you feel like what if I'm just not talented what if I have no talent that means I have to like rely on an office job people mistake talent for something that is like really crazy something that's just like you know gonna come in your dream or something that's just gonna be so obvious you just have to pay attention to yourself pay attention to the things that you like to do on a daily basis that's how sometimes you can uncover something um, that you're creative at but because you're not looking because your brain has just been designed to um, think of creativity as something that you see on a daily basis you could be great at baking you could be great um, at like knitting you could be great at making furniture you could be great at all sorts of things you could be great at doing hair you could be great at doing people's hair you could be a great barber don't be so discouraged because people look down on some of these things and you think oh my gosh no like my status is really gonna suffer with this let me tell you something bills don't care about status they come either way so if you're worried about status if you're worried about people looking at you a certain way those bills are still gonna come with your name on them 
and they're not gonna care what you do to get them paid all bills want is to get paid and trust me at the end of the day whether you try or not the same people that you think care so much about what you do they're not gonna come through for you when the bills come through so why don't you step out of your shell or try something you know what if it works that's what i live by everything that i try to do everything that i try to pursue of course there's always that side where i'm like oh my gosh what if it fails but what if it works and most times it works if you were to sit down with the most successful people they were just like you at a certain point sitting in a room or wherever and thinking oh my god i have this idea what should i do the only difference is they did something about it so if you have a great idea or if you know you're great at something try and pursue it don't just wait around for an office job because remember the office job that you're waiting for is also someone's dream someone also had to sit and thought of a solution and then they created a business so you're working for someone who's chasing their dream so what stops you from chasing your own dream and trust me guys i know um that like when you're on the other side you think oh well you're just saying that because you probably have a nine to five job and you're saying that because it's easier said than done. I get it. I have been on that end. I have been on that end where I have felt the same um, about other people who have a nine to five and who keep encouraging others to say, no, try this, try that. I have been there, but I'm telling you guys that it is doable, okay? Yes, I have a nine to five, okay? But it's not the only thing that sustains me. It's not the only thing that I depend on. I also try to do other things because you cannot just be relying on a nine to five. Maybe some of you won't like me saying this, but I feel like laziness is the biggest problem as well that we have that stops people from pursuing their dreams. We don't want to take the first step to do something. It's easier to go work for somebody else who has everything set up. Uh, the work structure, the work policies, how work goes. There's a lot of people who are so talented and creative, but they won't do anything about it because they're so lazy. They expect somebody else to come and push them, somebody else to tell them and direct them and show them that this is what you're good at. Do this and do that. People don't want to read these days. People don't want to research these days. People don't really want to see, um, explore their creativity. And it makes me sad because I'm just like, oh my gosh, what a rest. Don't get discouraged if you have an idea and you research it and you find that like there's so many other people who've done it before find out what sets you apart at the end of the day i guarantee you that there will be something that you will do differently because we're all different people there's no one else who is just like you no one don't be discouraged if you feel like oh my god you know i'm so great at baking scones but everybody bakes scones sprinkle glitter on your scones i don't care do something different like you have to be your biggest cheerleader because that's the only option that you have don't be waiting for anyone to come and like knock down the door and like you know push you out of bed for you like to be your best self there will be some people who are gonna do that but there are only a few that would probably be your mom your dad or your closest sibling honestly otherwise most people don't like to see you fail or don't move at all and these are people that you constantly surround yourself with you think they are rooting you on like yeah 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 go go goosey go goosey but deep down they're thinking bitch i hope you fall i'm just saying it as it is so you have to remember that you're the only one who's gonna have your back so if you want to make it in life if you want to succeed in life you are the only one who can get up and chase that shit okay okay do you know how many people work in offices and are struggling to pay bills and you guys see them on social media and think oh my gosh it must be nice don't be deceived by what you see like having a nine to five is not everything unless you're making like so much money but even when you're making so much money trust me the sacrifices that you're putting into that job you know there is working overtime working long hours not being able to see your family and friends there's always something that you give in return for that and why not give 100 percent into something that's yours into something that you know it's gonna 
empower you, empower others, something that you're going to build. At the end of the day, it's trial and error. There is no business that did not go through growing pains. You are going to go through growing pains. You, there's things that you're going to have to learn, but it is doable. The best money-making skills are hobbies, actually, because you're always going to enjoy it. So why not monetize it? But you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. Sometimes it takes you to be that person who's going to encourage somebody to be their best self. So please help me do that because that's what I'm trying to do on this channel. I'm trying to tell you awesome people that you're great, you're amazing. We can do this. So help me grow this community, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please like this video and share it with your friends.